I'm like Stacey, aren't I? Because I've got my real life husband is my work spouse. Mm -hmm. And actually, I would... Even if I did, I've always said this about Eamon, even before I knew him, I think he's a fantastic broadcaster. He's a lovely, lovely man, as you all know, um, despite his gruff exterior sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> um, but he is very loyal, very supportive, and he is the person that I turn to if I've got a problem or if I want to have a gossip with, you know, I go, you know, I guess what? <laughs> so we're very similar. So actually, I don't need another work spouse because I do oh. have him. Oh. I've got a little message for you, Ruth. Oh. Now, are you ready for this? You're running away with my husband. <laughs> <laughs> Not this very minute, okay. but listen to what Eamon's got to say. Every now and again, someone comes into your life, someone that makes a real difference, someone who you wake up and you want to be with, someone who makes you laugh, someone who cares about you, someone who's nice, someone... <laughs> Who's your soulmate? Someone who is Sarah Khan. It's little things that matter. It is. Yeah. I'm his work wife. Yeah. These are nearly as nice as you. Oh. <laughs> Sarah! That's brilliant. <laughs> That's so brilliant. Because Avon, he, he says, all he says to me is like, this, this, this. If just you could just be nice, Janet. You know, and I don't really <laughs> no, do. You I'm don't not. do nice, you know. No, you and don't I said do to not. Syra, because she's working with him a lot now, and she takes him food. Like, hey, oh, when I've got great. you like. Yes, yeah, so now he comes home and goes, Have we got any <laughs> have we got any melon fingers oh. in the fridge? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> well, Syra, Syra brings me melon fingers. That's, oh, stop that's so funny. That's well, we're talking it. about love letters. 